What up, what up, what up? It's Big Lutz. Welcome to my crypto life. My name is Big Lutz. I'm one member of CON. It's a group. I'm going to make hip hop, R&B, a little bit of reggae here and there. So that's my main genre is hip hop, though. I've been in the game 20 plus years. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, like I said, we were in a group, but I'm the only member that's doing stuff right now. Um, the other people in the group is Shakespeare and Stalin. Um, they're just uh, dealing with life right now. How do you think about uh, the NFT market and music? Um, it's interesting. I'll say it's interesting. It's very interesting. It's a lot of money there to be made. There's a lot of uh, opportunities. You just got to figure out what your lane is in that in that market and and uh, try it out and see how it works for you. So I put my first NFT music on Mintable. Um, it's one of my songs called Surviving the Game. Um, I put it on Mintable and it was a little... I guess I won't say complicated because it was just the beginning of this whole NFT market thing and people were just getting into it. So um, that was just my first try. It was okay. Um, nothing from it because I didn't know how to market it yet and all these other little small things you need to do. So I'll probably do it one more time and then because um, I kind of understand it a little bit more and then I'll just get it going from there. Do you think uh, NFTs will uh, uh, revolutionize uh, the music industry? Well, because when you deal with the NFTs, you can own your own stuff. And when you own your own stuff, you can give a lot of opportunities opportunities for yourself to make a lot of revenue from it and on top of it you can make packages with the nfts you can make extra content when people buy those nfts you could um you can do so many things so the the the, the world is wide 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 open like i said um i use mintable you can use um what's the other one what's the big one open c um you can use rarible um you can use a whole bunch of different ones but um i personally i use mintable because it was easy and it's free gas fees no gas fees just uh just a, just a Head, no, uh, head on that one, no gas fee. So, um, and they're trying to work on the gas fees for open seat too, so they're trying to figure it out. But that's, that's a different thing. Um, yeah, so you guys see the picture behind you, right? So this is Nipsey Hussle. He was a man that was in the crypto space from way before crypto was like getting on that level. So he, he was in there, RIP, he passed away, he got shot in his own hood. But he was a man that did a lot of independent music and like I said, he invested in crypto for a long time. So um, he has some of his, from what I know, I think he has some of his stuff on in NFTs. And they're just using his music. And then his music pays for his kids and goes to his wife and all those different things. So he was kind of like an uh, inspiration in the music world in general because he did a lot of things independently. So he didn't really use the major distribution. He just did his thing and he grew his, he grew it, you know, and it just went to the next level. So he's a, he's a person that I, I watched and just looked at some of the stuff he was doing and uh, some of the type of uh, uh, programs he was in and things like that. So, you know, you know he's a good, he, was a, he was a good role model. Any kind of revolution is that independent world. Back in the days, compared to now, a lot of things are getting independent. Like he was an independent person. So as the as the market got bigger and bigger and bigger, and now NFTs kind of exploded when it, when all those NFTs, um, all those coins came out, um, it made things a little bit easier for artists to revolutionize and get more money off their music <laughs> and be able to give fans uh, opportunity to get more out of their music than just playing their music, right? So when you have the NFTs, like I said, you can put. Um, different stuff stuff in there so you can get collectibles you could get posters you could get live uh, music from them you could get um unseen footage back, uh, behind the scenes stuff and that's what they can put in the empty and that any artist even an underground artist could do the same thing you just gotta figure out the market and just do your thing i think i'm gonna get some sandbox and i'm gonna get some some mana sooner or later but because the market's low right now right so it wouldn't be a good time to just get advance uh, get some of those little coins and put them in your pocket you know see what happens uh, you ever uh, throw a concert or uh an event in the metaverse? I would, I would. There is an artist, his name is King Miz. He's in the metaverse. He created, he has, he made his own coin. He, uh, he has concerts in the metaverse. Um, yeah, so he's one, he, uh, from what I know, one of the first couple artists in Toronto that kind of got that off, off the ground, doing um, like metaverse shows and stuff like that. He's doing pretty good on it. He's on, uh, he's on Instagram. I think it's King Miz, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, check it out. Um, he does his thing. I had this little issue uh, uploading some of uh, my NFT music. I had a little problem. So what I'm going to decide to do, I'm going to hear my boy, Mint Mike. Um, he's a uh, from Sony Pop Culture. He's like an NFT uh, Web3 uh, expert. Hi, I'm Mike Vanegas, and, or AKA known as <laughs> Mint Mike. Uh, I'm the owner of Sony Pop Culture. Music NFTs. Um, it's 
not really, I don't think it's so much what are music NFTs, it's really how does music benefit from the utility of an NFT. Um, so at the end of the day right now, an artist you know creates a song, they upload it. Um, obviously if that song is, gets trending, you know, they're signed onto a record label and they have all these different royalty commissions and different splits with how that music uh, is basically dispersed. So what does the utility of an NFT do for an artist? Well, it allows you to put your music on it and really lets you manage it from start to finish. So you put your music on there, you put it up to your fan base, and as that NFT grows in popularity, uh, and as that NFT is traded, it will increase and those royalties will be directly distributed back to you as the artist. So the authenticity, the ownership, um, you don't need so many middle people in between you and putting your mark, uh, your music out to the market. What is utility? Utility, let's say this, let's give it a, it's a purpose, right? Utility, there's a purpose. So at the end of the day, I always say the simplest way to look at what this form of utility is, is it's like a pod and you're going to put something of value in that pod. Um, and that pod can come in many different forms. Uh, I think that's one of the other things that's interesting, but let's just call it a pod for now. You're going to put your music in there and then you're going to distribute it. Um, so I truly think that's kind of the simplest way to explain how it will benefit. And once that's true, like I said, that pod knows where the initial wallet was. It's going to then transfer those royalties back. How can one listen to music NFT? Uh, no different than you would now. I think at the end of the day, NFTs and especially with music, uh, it's downloadable content. Really what you're buying is the, um, you're buying the NFT. It locks the content. And as soon as you bought it, it's now downloadable to your uh, system. So in an essence, uh, you basically are able to listen to that no different than any other MP3. What does an NFT music look like? Going back to that pod. So that pod can have many forms. It could be uh, digital, it could be uh, just a digital image, it could be a still image, uh, it could be a music video. Um, again, because it's digital, NFT, really the art has no boundaries. So the art that is attached to the music file um, can be just as epic as the music itself. So I'd like to see generally if I'm buying a music NFT or if, um, even if I'm buying an art NFT, to tell you the truth, I really appreciate when music's attached to it and there's a digital animated art uh, picture or something in the back. And I think they just go hand in hand. Why would NFT music benefit an artist? Would I give an argument to that? Not really. I think what it is is NFTs and music right now are just a different way for independent artists really to cut out the amount of people you would need uh, to support you getting in, an album out and making sure that if it did go uh, viral, that um, your fund, you know, basically your royalties from that would get back to you. So that is, you know, if you're if you're a, a YouTube sensation right now or an independent artist or anything like that, and you want to do a, a song that you think was going to go absolutely viral, I would seriously put it in an NFT, make a few editions of that. Um, I wouldn't make hundreds or thousands or anything of that nature. I think you have to look at what your current community is and really just cater to them and build uh, enough music for them. And then what I would do from there is let them help you expand your market. So the more they play those tunes, they will be able to expand your market. And at the end of the day, that's what's going to get you the royalties, them selling those albums. Where does a music artist start? Your community. Your community. First thing, guys, community, community, community. Make sure you understand your community. You're going to have to educate your community. The mainstream are not current with Web3 products. And uh, NFT is a utility and an NFT and um, Web3 product. That being said, there's a lot of education in your community, but I believe if you put in that work ahead of time and you do that now, uh, that will help build your community. It will also help grow your community. And um, there's, a, there's this transparency and I call reality to working with your community and actually sharing your hardships because listen it everybody's due to burnout but your community can be a great support center so i think you know what build that community first understand your customer base um educate that customer base and when everybody's very excited about buying that nft you'll be sure to sell out give us an example of a utility in nft music and what it would look like i think down the road what we see is collaborative so you have somebody putting music and what you're doing is actually stacking the technologies so what happens is somebody will create, compose a beautiful piece. And then from that, you'll have a, a, an animated short that will be created by somebody else. And you have a collective group now creating this, you know, epic little mini series or epic little mu music video. And like I said, music has a place in everything in our lives. So I think in that sense, just think about 
adding that utility to something, even though it can be seen on its own and heard on its own. I think collaboration is what expands our fan bases. It's what brings us global. And I think it also is what makes us grow as, as artists. Have you bought any NFT music yet? Tori Lanez. I bought one of Tori Lanez's albums. I thought it was one of the smartest ideas out there in terms of making it uh, a million albums for one dollar, make it accessible to everybody. But again, like I said, the small community understood that that Web3 play. So there's probably not as many owners as there would like to be. Um, but again, that's where it's it's us and these galleries and things like that that give opportunities to people that didn't know how to do that to show them how to do it. And I'll tell you right now, if we were to sell like a, a Tory Lanez album, I've got 10 of them here, I'll sell it to you for two bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's a way to just understand the market and how it works and make a simple investment. What kind of uh, advice or instructions or this type of stuff would you give an artist when they're trying to mint their music? Dior, do your own research. You need to understand the utility portion before anything. Um, and what I mean by that is understand NFT utility. So all the different things it can do um, and what it can, uh, how it can act. I think understanding that will make you go so much further ahead uh, than just thinking of downloading you know, music onto a Web3 blockchain or ledger. How do you think the NFT music is changing the music industry? I don't want to say this, but I think it's just an innovation in the industry. So I just think it's a new way of, of um, creating authentic, authentic mp3s um, and then also i think it's a way of creating a more fair distribution of the royalties at the end of the day uh, that works for the artist that actually is the author of that music um, so i just think it's the evolution of what happens i think all media will eventually be private essentially and then resold and but down the road i mean that's the whole thing everybody wants to be a star on youtube and and find a way to monetize that and i think at the end of the day that's what the ledger blockchain and nfts will help people do and that's what it'll do for the music industry all this crypto got me lit i watched it double with some days people come in and they fade but this is the life that i made watch it go out they come by the double when they go down i see you in trouble the market is tricky we gotta stay humble but don't think this is my that's first enough. time in the jungle